Hey guys, welcome back to my the Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you are new, my name is Stephanie. Today we're going to be talking about good boys. I didn't even know what a kiss. He was just licking that woman's asshole. You want to kiss an asshole, Max? No. Nope. Good Boys is rated R. It is a comedy an hour and 40 minutes long. It is set to come out August the 16th. Um, of course, it is produced by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. And of course, it stars a very talented Cutie Pie, Jacob Trimley, Keitha Williams, Brandy Noon, uh, Molly Gordon, and Midori Francis. I hope I say that right. I may not be saying that right. <laughs> so I am going to be talking spoilers in this movie. So if you haven't seen the movie and you do not like spoilers, maybe go ahead and like exit off this video now, but then come back once you see the movie or if you're like me and you love spoilers stick around all right so good boys follows max lucas and thor so the movie pretty much has a couple like different things going on in the movie but it all does ultimately work out together uh first would be when max gets invited to his first sixth grade kissing party of course he's like well can we invite lucas and thor and the cool kid is all like, nah, they're pretty like random in a way. And I really like the way that Max is all like, they're not random, they're like specific. So now I want people to refer to me as specific. I like that. I'm, I, cause I'm very random, but I think I want to change it to specific. <laughs> they got invited to their, their party and from there is pretty much where the whole kind of story takes place on what, on their journey to get to this party at the end of the day. So they're trying to figure out, you know, how to kiss and they apparently don't really know about YouTube and you are able to YouTube everything so they kind of they end up on this uh, porn site where they actually type in porn and they're trying to get to see how it is to kiss and they end up seeing something else not what they need to see. Thor ends up remembering that they have a CPR doll <laughs> that's in the parents closet. They can use that to kiss. Obviously the CPR doll is a very expensive sex doll. They're very much good boys which obviously they don't know anything about like really about girls or like sex sex toys none of that i mean why would they right i mean well now in this generation i'm surprised that they didn't know because in this generation these kids nowadays are like too like far in advance and max which is, which is jacob trimley which is freaking amazing you guys i mean have you seen room have you seen wonder he does amazing and he's just such an incredible actor and max is the first one to go in to go in for the kiss why is he about to go in? Lucas stops him, which is Keith, Keith Dowd Williams, which I think he's so funny. He's such a talented little actor as well. I mean, all the, the three kids are very talented. Their chemistry together was really, really great. His timing, I think, was... He did a really, really good job in my hands. I mean, for being so young, and comedy is hard, and I feel like his timing was really, really good, especially... And there's one part, we'll, we'll get to that later. Well, anyways, we're going to where he's about to go in to get the kiss. Lucas is all like, wait, you can't just go in and kiss somebody. You got to ask for their consent. Uh, so Thor ends up pretty much stealing one of the girl's bags. And in the bag, there is Molly. And they didn't realize it was Molly because it's, of course, in a little, like, aspirin bag. This is where the second, like, little scenario comes to play. You know, they're like, we're, we're keeping this for collateral. You know, we're going to we're gonna swap the bag for the the toy they didn't realize what they had in there you almost see that they're gonna take it but they don't because they can never open up the bottle because you know it is child proof we end up meeting at a playground that's where we're gonna because you know there's people around just for safety of course once they figure out that there's drugs involved they like freak out and this is like one of the funny parts that happens when you know they're like oh we're gonna make a citizen's arrest citizen's arrest and you see them all like you know doing like all this karate stuff and and then jacob is like with the fake with his handgun and then he starts going like all this other stuff the teenage girls they're just like looking because they're like they don't understand what's going on with these kids right hannah which is played by monty gordon is all like did you just reload your fake gun so this is where we get the girl the teenage girls involved is you know them trying to get their molly the boys are trying to you know keep the molly off the streets and they're gonna go and turn it into the fire department and that's just one thing about lucas he's the one that's he's like the conscience of the group basically and the snitch and honestly like after the movie i was like that's just so funny but lucas man me and lucas we, we couldn't even be friends because nah he snitches too much not like i do stuff but like what if i decide to do something He's gonna snitch like this when, when the boys end up going to this uh, frat house to go and get more drugs. And Hannah has specifically told him them not to tell the guy 
that Hannah sent them because it was the ex-boyfriend that had literally just broke up. Where he says, well, who sent you? And who snitched? That's right, Lucas. And of course, you know, he wasn't going to, to give him the drugs, obviously. And uh, Max pretty much ends up losing it and it's just like, no, like I need the drugs because I need to give give the girls the drugs so they can give me my drone back so I can put it back in the house so I don't get in trouble so I can get to this party so he can kiss the girl. All of this, you guys, is just to kiss the girl. And he ends up picking out this paintball gun from this backpack, which I forgot to mention in the backpack has nothing but like sex toys that they're using as weapons. Thor's parents are a little freaky, you know, and they pretty much use everything, you guys. They actually use it more so as weapons. Oh, hold on, before this, I was coming back from Lucas with this uh, comedic uh, timing. Um, when they were there at the frat house, they had the little um, blow horn going. Like, every time that horn would blow, Lucas would <coughs> actually it was like a higher pitch, but it was just like perfect timing. It was every time I think I would laugh because it's just so funny. But we're gonna go ahead and fast forward to the paintball gun. So when he was gonna give him the the you know he gave him the drugs, and in that time that he gave him the drugs, they blew the horn. Lucas screamed, and Max shot basically the drug dealer right in that head. It got so bad after that. It was like a full-on like massacre. I mean, he was really good shot with that paintball. And he was literally shooting all of them. The other guys actually helped around. It was so funny. Lucas kind of did this. You know, he bit down and the guy went over him and he comes up. He's like, oh my god, I killed the guy. But that whole scene, you guys, was just so hilarious. Scooter game? I think that's what they they were. The scooter boys? Something like that. They're like, we're gonna show you something. And they had a beer and they're like, yeah, we're gonna sip a beer. You know, but you might, and like, to us, you know, it's funny because you're like, sip. Like, you're just gonna, but you know, they're sixth graders. So, what, what, how old is that? Like, 11 or 12. And I know some of you are like, yeah, I had my first beer, like, at 10 or, you know, 12. But you know, they're not you and they're not me. I wasn't drinking beer at sixth grade, but you know, so more so they're not you if you said I was drinking beer. No judgment. They were talking about this one kid that has the record of three sips. And they're like, whoa. And at one point they're like, yeah, I'm gonna take four sips. And they're like, four sips? That's impossible. The whole delivery of everything was just so Funny. So Good Boys is pretty much like Super Bad Junior. I mean, at the end of the day, they're all trying to get to this party for a girl, right? So if you did not like Super Bad, I don't think this movie's gonna be for you. Uh, but I do gotta say that Good Boys is funnier than Super Bad. Of course, it has very predictable jokes in it, but they're delivered in such a good way that it works and everything just worked together i think this is just such a great comedy movie to end the summer with definitely not like kid friendly i know it has kids in here but remember it is rated r so do i recommend that you go see this movie in theaters yes i do think that it is worth your money at the theaters i think it's nice to go you know with um your friends your significant other your teenage kids <laughs> your siblings go with your siblings i think this is fun of course you know older siblings have you seen good boys are you looking forward to seeing it what is the craziest thing that you did as a sixth grader like did you sip that beer did you chug that beer let me know in the comment section below with that my intention was to go a little bit more into detail with the spoilers but then as i keep talking i'm just like don't ruin everything for them it is a comedy i don't really necessarily think you can ruin comedy because either you're gonna laugh or you're not gonna laugh regardless if you know what's gonna happen or not but i still want you guys to be surprised on what's gonna be happy nothing like major happens but you know still and with all that said don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you at concessions bye hi oh my God.